Uh, hello, my name is Cactus and this is... Gulle. And you're watching Toasted with Fufanu. We're rolling, we're also rolling in 360, but you guys are familiar with that, right? I saw, I saw your video in 360, really cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it, how did it come about? Nobody does that still. I mean, 360 is pretty new, but you have a video in 360. Yeah, basically we had a guy, photographer here in Reykjavik visiting, and we wanted to do a photo shoot with him. And he said, no, I can't do a photo shoot, but I'm ready to do a video and said we are doing a 360 video and that's what happened so you just set up in the street and you started playing yes. i mean yes he we were just finding a place to do the gig or to do the video and this was the, an idea that we did it's really cool hey um uh, this is for me actually the first time that i'm staying in Reykjavik for a longer period and just like a day or going by um, and I'm struck with the fact with a couple of things music is really popular here people listen to good music as well which is I think even more than in most cities in the world uh, yeah sure I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean yeah, I guess I guess that's right Okay. You guys get to travel a lot. Come on, you play in the UK as well. It's different. I mean, there's 300,000 people basically living in this island. The music is massive and there's so many good bands coming out of Reykjavik. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just because uh, it's so open. It's so, I mean, the city is welcoming artists to do what they want to do. And it's kind of easy to do it. So that's probably why everyone enjoys music here. Like, it's really accessible, it's easy to perform, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's just a good city to play around in. Sure, yeah, it is. <laughs> I think he said oh, everything about it, actually, I don't know. This is going to be the shortest interview in human history, people. Yeah, hey, um, um, you guys are working on your new album, second album, uh, it's about to be released in January, right? Am I yeah, correct? It's actually uh, ready. It is ready, all right. Yeah. It will be released in January? Uh, uh, February 3rd. Wow. Yeah. And uh, Tell me about it. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh, uh, we uh, worked really hard on it. Yeah. We, like, we spent all the summer, all, all our summer time making it. Yeah. Like, What's it going to be like? Because I mean, you guys are, are, are renowned for changing your musical style. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you started off as, uh, as an electronic band and decided to, to get the guitars and the live act more and uh, what I read is that actually you stunned your perform you stunned your audience the first time when you played because they weren't expecting it at all yeah it's it's faster than the first one it's and it's like yeah more upbeat and more electronic ba back to more electronic parts and it's the sound this way more focused it's less of huge soundscapes uh, like, like and big yeah. sounds, like more focused, and yeah, it's, it's more confidence and yeah, uh, more uh, sophistication as well. Was it hard actually for you guys to do the second album? Because I mean, what you hear is that you have a lot of time to write the first one, yeah. and then you start touring, and people start getting into the music, and you're getting busy now. It was way easier, I think. Yeah. Way easier yeah. because we we had no idea like where we wanted to take the. We were still experimenting when we were doing the first album, and we just wanted to get it over with. We've yeah, we we didn't have any idea what we were doing. Kind of just we're trying to put together some music, and uh, ended up with a soundscape that is on the album, and from there we just kept on like <laughs> developing. It was kind of as the first step in the stairs. Do you know, like how do you walk upstairs? You just t start by taking the first step. And then we're doing the second step. It's, it always becomes easier. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think we just had more, we had more idea, more demos to work out of as well. Uh, wrote a lot of it uh, while touring, like in gaps between tours and stuff. So it kind of also played a lot with how we were performing live and growing as as a band. Did yeah had a lot of saying in the making of the album. Would it be possible for you guys, if you would start touring after the first album, 
and the audience would really not get into it, like they would hate it, that you would change your musical style or would you still just stick to what you do? No, I don't think we... I think no one, if, no, we wouldn't change our music. No. If somebody don't like it, it's like that, that's their problem, I guess. Yeah, we are, we are not in, uh, we are not making music for, uh, like I say, I don't know what to say. Uh, You're not trying to please. Everybody. No, no, yeah, and we're not in. Not we, really. we, we're not. We're not we're trying to make good music, of course, for people to listen, but we are not like aiming on like this people or something like that I don't think so no and and not I mean we're not hired by the government or anything to to please people uh, it's just something that we like to do we, we like to make the music and we like to play the music and uh, yeah and we are go it's going really well like people are receiving the music and appreciating it so I guess we'll just keep on doing whatever we like, and that seems to work. You can say that, though, right? I mean, the, did you read the, the review in Rolling Stone that you guys got? It's like one of the top 10 bands to watch for in 2017. Yeah. It's you guys. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. yeah it was actually, <laughs> yeah. like, 2013 or something. Yeah. yeah. No, really? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And then, we, then we've been on the top list of airwaves uh, last year. Yeah, from, from Ro Rolling Stone, but... It was, I think, in 2013 that we were like band to watch yeah. of, of Rolling Stone. And they were right as well. Yeah, yeah. man, that's what we do. <laughs> hey, how did you get uh, How did you get signed to uh, to Little Indian, basically? Because I mean, that's what a lot of people want. Is it? Is it? it just uh, happened. Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> I really gotta go. <laughs> gotta Where are you going, man? I'm going to out of space. <laughs> See you later. Uh, yeah, the guys from One Little Indian came to our. First shows show. at Airwaves, what, 2013, yeah. I think. And yeah, they really liked it and wanted to release it. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty much what happened. What happened. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they they saw the show, came to the rest of the shows during Iceland Airwaves Festival and uh, wanted music and we gave them, I uh, went into the studio. That's basically why we rushed in to go into the studio. Uh, trying to finish something uh, and get them instrumentals. They want to hear some vocals, and that's kind of the story of it. Just is it easy for you guys to make music? Cause it's, it's, I mean, like you said, it just happened. Many normal people like work really hard to get a sound right, but for you guys, it was we are always making music. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, when you when you're always in the environment of making music or playing. Uh, I think the ideas just come to you. I mean, it's not like it's not like we took ten days to write ten tracks that all went to the album. Uh, I mean, it, it can it can be easy and hard, just yeah, like just every, everything else. Yeah, sometimes it sometimes it's just we're spending two weeks just trying to get something right in one track, uh, and sometimes just songs just happen. For example, goodbye on a few more days to go. It just came. Uh, one evening out of nowhere uh, I have no idea what this song's lyrics are about it just came to us and yeah so that that happens fantastic who did the artwork for the album actually I think it's amazing a few, few uh, more days to go Smaury uh, Robertson he actually lives in Amsterdam no way yeah wow I love but, I, but Icelandic guy fantastic stuff yeah And what's uh, I mean the new album will be out in February. Uh, who does the artwork? How many tracks are are there going to be? Uh, will, will there be vinyl for the album? Yeah, yeah it's going to be double vinyl release. And, and I mean, even at the moment, the pre-sale, the pre-sale you can get and seven inch with two extra tracks, Sweet. as well. Yeah, Sweet. Uh, the artwork is uh, made by us by help of friends. Uh, the idea and everything about it is our is our like concept sports it's called uh, includes 10 tracks yeah that's how many tracks did you guys write for the album I mean did you did you leave a lot out yeah, we left like maybe three or four uh, I think we left, we left more more out probably around yeah, probably eight, 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 eight songs or yeah. something so you wrote like 20 songs like 21 songs or uh, yeah. yeah something like that yeah it's pretty prolific and so it does come easy for you guys to make music 
Yeah, you could say uh, so. so. If, if, you, if you say so. Yeah, come on, I mean, I, I only wrote like one song in my life and it took four years to write a good song. So I think like if you write 20 good songs in a year, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But yeah, then we are always enjoying revisiting old stuff as well. Like some demos that are uh, maybe four bars and that Gulli made some, some of them maybe even in January last year. And we just revisit, revisit by accident, just to find it, and it's something interesting that we feel like we can work out of, and that is, yeah, that's a start for a lot of songs. Hey, when the album is released, um, it can actually can if people pre-order it now, they will get the seven inch set, right? Is it if available anywhere? Do you can you get online, or should you go to a certain shop? It's online, uh, yeah, by some website, okay. one little Indian website. Seven inches, I love that, man. Yeah, it's great to, uh, yeah, it's great to have them as, like as an extra with this album because we didn't, we kind of didn't expect it. it. Just came as a thought, bring some extra to the pre-order value. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. And the label was okay with that. Well, that's even more special. Yeah. 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 And what do you guys think actually of because this, I mean we're talking about hard copy here but uh, your music is available on Spotify it is available at other places do you mind that people put your music on the web no I mean uh, don't really care about it you don't care? no I think we are I mean if we were in it to be selling as much music as we could be doing we would probably not be doing this music uh, and we are sharing the music by releasing the music, we are sharing it with people, and by sharing it with people, uh, we are sharing like our work. And if people enjoy it, that's great. And so, making it as available for people, that's yeah, that's just a great thing. Do you have any plans to conquer, quote unquote, the states at all? Is that an ambition for you guys? The states? Uh, I think we haven't thought about it. Like the states are so new to us. Uh, yeah, I mean. I can yeah. see a lot of people in the States actually be totally into your music. Yeah, I mean, then, then we just have to start to explore explore that market. Yeah, it's a different market and like really big. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a huge country. It definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, then we just have to see how the presidential uh, voting will go and see if we will be going there or not. Do you mind, actually, if Trump would be elected? Would you... Um, not going there who says that we're talking about trump yeah exactly that's my question <laughs> <laughs> no i think no i think we just have to have to see but i mean Either way they're it, probably yeah. yeah yeah i mean it's it's a difficult situation thanks so much for your time guys